Oh, oh, he's there, he's there. Oh yeah, that's the mackerels. What's up guys? We're out here in the back country and today we're catching mackerel. Alright guys, to start we're putting two blocks of chum in the water. We want a power chum. We want our chum to disperse all over this flat. It's all grass here and mud and we just want the chum to spread out and the mackerel are cruising through here at this time of year when the water's really cold. They come down here to the Keys and we're gonna see if we can get them to come up to the boat. You just gotta power chum as much as you can. Make sure you have a really big chum slick and just assert your dominance over the area. All right guys, so we are rigging up. We got Anthony here. He is putting together a wire rig. And for these mackerel, you really do need wire because they have really sharp teeth and they come at the bait real fast. So you need a good length of wire, probably at least six inches. So in case they miss the bait, they're not cutting you off. And he's just putting together some wire on like a light, light tackle rod and we're just gonna fight them and have some fun with them but we want to get some meat in the boat so you need that wire you don't want the fish swimming around with hooks in their mouths for no reason so we're just putting these rigs together first most important part of catching a fish bait selection you just want to come here with these mondo shrimps oh look at those big ass shrimps i tipped the shrimp guy he gave me some big ass shrimps so i'm very happy Pick the mondoist shrimp you can find. You want them really sparky. Don't drop them, they're really frisky. Hook them through the tail from the back up. Like that. And we're just gonna cast him right here next to the boat. And he's gonna start swimming down as he starts trying to escape. Hopefully he gets picked up pretty quick. I say once he goes three feet underwater, he's gonna get picked up. You want your bail open? So that the fish can start running. And then you'll close it after he takes off. chased he's got two on him two three on him are you gonna bail him are you any other ones on footage yeah i kind of saw them a bit all right let's see if i can lift them. into the bucket there we go all right anthony's hooked up as we get that one in the boat on the bobber rod <laughs> on the bobber rod <laughs> the dark horse bobber rod Oh, they're chasing him. They're all over him. It's the other ones that are cutting the line. Oh, no, get away. Stop bothering him. Lift him, lift him. <laughs> Don't get us tangled. Don't get us tangled. Don't get us tangled. What do you think? Open the cooler. Open the cooler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in. Alright. Film in the bucket. Nice. Two in the bucket. You do not want to get cut by these teeth. One time I was, uh, catching bait out on the reef and I decided to put out a little filter for fun see if I could catch a mackerel or a gouda and I caught one of these but much bigger and I was bringing him in the boat my finger was too close to his mouth and he just gashed my thumb open and I had three long gashes in my thumb it was probably one of the deepest cuts I've ever gotten to I think he just fell hooked oh that might be it yeah he's fell hooked that's still a good one though yeah, put him in the bucket. Oh, he's barely hooked by his skin. You're gonna lose him. I'm not, I don't lose fish. Oh! The reason when you foul hook a fish that it fights harder, just because it puts more resistance on the water because you're pulling him in sideways as opposed to by the head, which is the direction he swims. So it's harder to fight a foul hooked fish. So, you get him in the side and you have to fight harder. We got a double hook up. Go get him. No, no, back that up, back the lens up. Him in toward you. It is so hard to film. Guys, we got picked up 
right as the GoPro's battery died. We got double hooked up. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. Here, film. Mine took a run probably 50 yards out. Right as the GoPro died. Oh! Yeah, he's good. He's a Mondo. Do we need the broomstick? It's a big chungus. He might need some sweeping. He's not the craziest one we caught, but he's the biggest one we caught today. Auto broomsticking. Two in one. <laughs> when you gotta do it all by yourself, you gotta you gotta get the good content. That's why we have the cameraman. We got fishing rod and gaff on one person. Hey guys, we're here on the other side of the boat now, and we're still hooked up on the same fish. We got a little tangle over there, but uh, he's still on. Picking up some grass and for trouble. Oh, he's a good one. He is a good one. I'm gonna have to sweep him. Yeah, you're gonna have to get him with the broomstick. Oh, he's gonna run. Or not. Oh. Turn. Got him with the broomstick in the boat. One cameraman, one rod, one gaff. All right, <laughs> we're set up now. This one fights hard, man. Look at him, look at him, look how far he out he is. With salad. Got him. And some salad on the side. All right, guys, we're back at the dock, and we did pretty well. We got about 15 mackerel, four mangrove snappers, and we got some crab claws on the way in. And I'm just going to teach you two ways to prepare mackerel. First way is rounds. Uh, and this way, you're going to get more meat because you're not filleting it. You're not missing meat around the bones. You're getting the entire steak. So what you're going to do is you're just going to remove the head. We're going to come here behind these small fins, cut towards the head, and then down behind these side fins all the way around. We're going to cut through and we're going to discard that head. Then we're going to come through into the guts and we're going to make an incision right here and we're just going to pull out his guts and empty his rib cage. Just take that out. And then if you come in a little bit closer here you're going to see there's a bloodline that runs along the spine. And you don't want that when you're eating. If you see my thumb, that's because I got pinched by a stone crab. But here's the bloodline. You don't want that because you're gonna be eating this off the bone. So we're just gonna remove that. We're gonna cut into it. And then I'm just gonna come with my knife and I'm gonna scrape like this and then flip my knife and scrape the other way. And that should just loosen it. And you can pull it out with your hand or you could come in with a hose, rinse it out a little bit more. And we'll just pull out that piece and we'll give it a rinse. So after that, basically what you have going is a plug. You just need to take off these upper and lower fins, these little tail fins here that act as little rudders. We're just going to come and we're just going to slice those off really shallow cuts just to take off the fins. And take that off one strip, feeding the pelicans. And this one runs the entire length. So we're just gonna keep going. I leave the tail on for last because that acts as my handle when I'm cleaning the fish. And then here, we're just gonna start making about one and a half inch stakes. We're just gonna cut straight down. And we're just gonna do that the entire length of the fish and what you end up with is a nice steak with four rounds, bone cross in between. And you're going to fry that whole in a pan. And then you're going to go with your fork and just pull this piece out, pull this piece out, pull this piece out, and pull this piece out. Those are your four nuggets from your steak, mackerel steak. I'll tell you the second way to clean a mackerel, and that's to fillet it into fish fingers. So the bones are really thin on, the, thin on this guy, so we're just going to come through, come straight down behind the fin, and we're going to go across his body. 
just all the way through, through the bones to the tail, break that off. We're gonna do one side and the other side is the exact same thing. So while the skin's still on, uh, I'm gonna cut off the rib cage. I like to leave the skin on because it holds the meat together. And then we're gonna get our fingers. You're gonna see them right here. Here's one piece, another piece, another piece, and another piece. So we're gonna get four pieces off this fish. You can already see the makings of my four fish fingers. I wanna get rid of the skin and the, the vein here and the spines. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut to the side of that. And then once I get to the skin, I'm gonna curve my knife and cut along the skin. And that's gonna give me a fish finger right there. And I'm gonna do that to all four pieces. So I'm just gonna cut to the side of the spine cut along the skin and that's another fish finger right there and then what you're left with here is skin and you have your spine still attached to that skin and that gets fed to the pelicans I'm gonna do the same thing for this piece right here and that's another fish finger and the same thing for this piece right here I'm gonna get another fish finger off of him so you got your portion pieces here for the fryer already and that's how you get it done all right, guys, it's been a good day. We caught like 15 mackerel and some snappers, and we got a bunch of stone crab claws on the way in. So thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. We appreciate you. Down. <laughs> There you go, that's how you do it.